What is up boys, welcome back to a brand new video today, we are playing some more UFC Universe mode, we are diving in today, this is probably one of the best cards ever, like I am so, so, so super excited for this card, uh, opening it up we have Damian Flame and Jordan Walker, which if you know about the UFC Universe, you know these guys are like top level fighters, and they're opening up the card, continuing on after Tony and, uh, Tony, continuing after Jordan and Damian Flame, we have Kofi and Hamza, Baba and Wynn, Oshiar and Samuel Stevenson, Chung Lee and Akira Kobayashi, Arlo and Fraser Hunt Stewart, and Mamed v Vinny Romano. Oh, and Kaiga v Chernov as well. So some shit's gonna go wild today. The record for both of these fighters are Damian Flame is 23 and 4. Jordan Walker is 17 and 9. Jordan Walker in the blue corner with the blue hair. Flame with a front kick. Dropped him bad there already. Damian Flame in the red corner with the red hair. Makes it kind of easy. <laughs> Here we go. Damian Flame already starting things off. Straight there. Good shots out there from Walker. I already know this card is going to be crazy. Crazy good. <clears throat> See what happens though. Good movement from Flame. Oh. Body work there. Again, more body work. Okay. Look, i really starting to land with a boxing. Which is definitely what he needs. I'm getting a bit sloppy with those high kicks there. Oh, that could be over. Fine follows him down, flattens him out. Walker gives up his back, that's not good. Flame with some shots there. <clears throat> See what happens. Some big shots there, but Walker survives. This is crazy. <clears throat> I do apologise, it's really early here, man. Some nice ground to pound here from Flame, but he isn't doing too much. He needs to posture up and try and land something big. Some fight enders, you know? This is enough to get the ref to stop standing them up, though. So, Flame is working pretty nicely. Let's see what happens. Flame trying to posture there. Transition denial. I want to see him stand it up. You know these guys are strikers. That's what they're good at. I don't want to see him do this, you know? The Flame's controlling the ground, too. Kind of mad. Not really controlling it. Which I didn't expect either. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, good good work, Ref. Ref stands him up. <clears throat> Fair play. Let's see what happens. Spinning back fist there from Walker. Flame looking good though, very elusive. Shot there from Walker. Looks like this might go to the second round. Flame does such a good job of just staying out of range, bro. So good. Going to the second. Good first round. Damian Flame definitely won. Let's see what happens. From the ground game to the knockdowns, Flame was definitely the winner of that round. Walker's got a lot to do in the second round. Oh, oh! Brutal for Flame. Good uppercut from Walker, though. Man. Flame is on a roll as well. I think he's on like a five fight win streak. So this dude. Nice combo there from Walker. He needs more of them, though. Oh, but there it is. Knocked down from Jordan Walker. This is crazy. Bro. Opening fight like this, jeez. Oh, madness! Nice faints there from Flame. Walker seems like he's game though. Now he seems like he's really, really trying to get back in this fight. He isn't laying down and quitting. Oh, that could be it. That could be it. Flattens him out for the second time. Damien Flame. 
What a fight. Kofi v Hamza up next. Again, another very exciting matchup. Don't really know how this one's going to go. Um, pretty damn excited though, I ain't going to lie. Kofi is real quick. Kofi, I'm trying to find his record. Kofi is 13-5. and five. Hamza is 10-5. and five. So pretty even records, kind of. Same losses. Kofi's got a few more wins. Let's see what happens. Very, very excited for this matchup. Kofi there in the blue corner. Hamza in the... Or, or, Hams are in the blue, sorry. It's been a while since I filmed UFC Universe. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> Here we go. Already violence off the bat. That's what you want to see. Oh. What's it, one, two there? Body shot there. Big body shot from Hamza. Hamza's coming out violent, bro. Big knee, then he got clipped there. Nice shot from Hamza. Oh! Big elbow. Hands is in control early. Big leg kick. Hamza is not out as much as we thought he was, man. Couple of slips there. Look at that. Beautiful body shot. Kofi starting very slow here. Nice shot there. Hamza is just dogging shots. Folded him. There's blood from the eye of Kofi. And again, they mix in trade there and down goes Kofi again Hamza is looking unbelievable Hamza Parker Dooney oh my god what a finish for him what a performance domination that's the Hamza we know and love Baba Ham the Wingo welcome into the UFC we're going to see how this one goes Baba Ham is 9-1 Wingo is 9-0 very similar records. Baba Ham coming up short last week against Chung Lee. Looking for a turnaround tonight against an undefeated challenger known as Wingo. We're going to see what happens. I am so excited for this one. I just do not know where it's going to go. Wingo there in the blue corner. 9-0. Baba Ham in the red corner. 9-1. Axe kick from Win. Baba needs to keep that distance. There is the takedown threat with Wingo though. That's what Bubba needs to keep an eye out for, but a good high kick there from Bubba Ham. And he has done it. Oh, my. UFC debut. And Bubba has shut the lights out. Welcome to the big leagues. That is crazy. Another highlight reel finish for Bubba Ham. Out like a light. What a finish. Kaigar taking on Samuel Stevenson up next. Not Kaigar. Oh, bro, it's so early. Just ignore me. Ozja taking on Samuel Stevenson. Ozja 18 and 7. Samuel Stevenson is 16 and 7. Similar records. Ozja's got a few more wins. They have fought once before, and Stevenson did get the win. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Super excited. Oh, shit, I'm fucking heat already, bro. That's what we want to see, though. I'm excited. A lot really happening. Stevenson trying to tie him up in the clinch there. Nice trip there from Stevenson. What's happening here, though? They're just kind of looking at each other in the eyes, bro. Romance is not dead. Proves a fix from Stevenson from early. Not good for Ozia. Stevenson here. Stevenson's hurting, bro. Stevenson busted him up there, bro. Jesus. Grand power from Stevenson. He is looking good, man. Nice body shots. Ozjar's going to try and turn. Nice transition there from Stevenson, though. He's beating up Ozio on the ground here. I would like to see a sub attempt from Ozio. Where are they at? You know? Where, where are they at? This could be over. Stevenson is ripping the chin. In a bad, bad way. Yeah, this is over. The survival of Ozio is really good, though. 
Stevenson just smashing him. Samuel Stevenson, absolutely flawless. Unbelievable. I have no words. Like, say what you want about him being a bit shit, but he just smashed Oja. He just beat Oja up. In a bad, bad way. Damn. Big win for Stevenson. Love him or hate him. Huge win. Chung Lee v Akira Kobayashi. This one is going to be so, so much fun. Akira Kobayashi, 12 and 4. Chung Lee, 33 and 12. Both of these guys are going to bring it, and I do think this could be fighter tonight. This one is going to go off. 33 and 12, Chung Lee. 12 and 4, Akira Kobayashi. Chung Lee, a Hall of Famer. He's on a free fight contract. And then he could be hanging him up. We'll see what happens. Big body shot there for Akira. Nice faint from Chung, though. And it begins. What I think will be fighter tonight. It's this one or the next one, in my opinion. Frazier and Arlo. Or these two. Ooh, big overhands. Akira ripped the body. Chung fired off the straight. Again, good body shot there for Chung. Chung really wants to get in there with that boxing. Both of these guys are so good, though. Oh, spinning heel kick for Chung. Madness. Good leg kick there. Don't count the Kira out, though, man. Okay. Couple of slips there. Chung is getting the better of these exchanges, though. Spinning shot to the body. It's getting the better at the minute. I do feel like Akira is going to come back, though. Both guys are an animal, man. Like, they're so good. Good shot there from Chung, though, and the combination from Chung Lee. Put him down. Okay, that's mad. The combination that sent Akira to the canvas was brutal. Chung Lee so far doing very well. And the anti grappler trying to stand up there. Here is ripping some shots on the ground though. Let's go. Kira turns it over. Lovely grappling there for Kobayashi. Want to see him stand up. Smart there from Akira. He rolls. Alrighty. Chung Lee stands up. The crowd is somehow booing this. How are you booing these two, man? Some of the best. Akira believes if he gets through Chung Lee, he does deserve a title shot. Chung Lee probably still a little bit more ways to go, but Akira is on a big streak. I would like to see Akira. I love Chung Lee, but I'd like to see Akira get this done. Chung Lee is unpredictable as fuck, and he does keep clipping Akira. That boxing from Chung. Flattens him out. This could be it. Still got it, Chung Lee. Unbelievable. I had Akira. But Chung Lee does it. Still got it. Damn. Up next, we got Arlo v. Frazier Hunt Stewart. Should be an absolute barn burner. If that last one wasn't fighter tonight, which I don't think it was, I think Chung Lee done so well. This one could be Arlo 15 and 3, Frazier Hunt Stewart 13 and 4. Arlo in the red corner with the white shorts and Frazier in the blue with the black shorts. Oh, oh. This new update, bro. Jesus. Someone gets tagged and it's, they're over. It's the Charlie, Charlie Olives update, bro. I'm telling you. Arlo starting well, though. Controlling that distance. Some nice shots early from Arlo. I did think he just caught in there, though. I don't think it was precise. Nice high kick there from Frazier. Arlo with the combos and puts Frazier down again. This is crazy. Arlo's got them hands, bro. He is clipping him in abundance. From the stomp there. Oh. 
I feel like this one would be fight of the night. Arlo is just... Look at the level changes there. Usually Arlo is a bit of a slow starter. It doesn't seem like that is the case here. Frazier usually on the front foot here. With his new style, he is on the back. Good jab from Frazier. Couple slips there. Good left hand from Frazier. Here we go. This is what we wanted. War. Leg kick there. Combination from Arlo. This is mad. Stepping jab for Frazier. Frazier's waiting a lot more on counter punching, but Arlo throws about five punches. So it must be hard to counter. Combo there for Frazier. That was nice. Good fight so far. Big knee. Such a good fight. And it's just beginning. A kick there. Little one two. Defense there from Arlo. High kick clipped him. Arlo dropped him again. Defense there from Frazier. Covered up well. Good first round. Arlo definitely took it. Okay. Second round coming up. Beautiful high kick there. There you go again. Round two. Here we go. Mutual respect between opponents. You'd love to see it. Arlo said Frazier is his dream matchup in the last press conference. If you want to see the press conferences and partake in that, join the Discord, man. Link is in the description. A lot of feints here from these high-level strikers. Oh. Double jab. Good straight from Arlo. Oh, that could be it. Time in Frazier now. One more shot would have probably sent Frazier out. Tough as nails. Crazy fight. Absolutely crazy. Arlo trying to stand. Get back up. Big leg kick. Superman punch sends him out. Arlo with one of the biggest wins of his career. What a return. What a fight. Up next we have Kaigar taking on Gregory Chernov for his welterweight title. Let's see what happens, man. Super excited. Kaigar v Chernov up next. Chernov absolutely unbeaten at welterweight. Ripped through almost everybody. Going to be a very, very interesting matchup. Kaigar 26 and 3. Chernov 29 and 13. Let's see what happens. Kaigar in the red corner, the current welterweight champion. Chernov. The challenger in the blue corner, 29 and 13. Let's see what happens. If it stays on the feet, Chernov has all the advantage. But as soon as it hits the deck, I do feel like Kaigar. Oh, oh! This update, bro. This update is mad. Oh! Kaigar needs to watch out. He needs to shoot now. No way. No way. I think he just got clipped with a big shot. No way. Chernov. Still throwing. Kaigar needs to shoot. High kick from Gregor. Oh my fucking god. He has done it. I have no fucking words. Gregory Chernov is the new welterweight champion. What? No, no way. Now, I am so upset because I love Chernov, but Kaiga 
That's unlucky. Just with Kygo. I think he got clipped and he was just unable to recover early. But fuck, man. What do we do now? Holy shit. Holy shit. I have no words. Mamed v Vinny Romano up next. Let's see what happens. Mamed 15 and 3. Vinny Romano 19 and 5. Lightweight title on the line. Let's see what happens. Super, super excited. No idea how this one's going to go and unfold. I would like to think... Mamed, he does have a win over Vinny, so I'd like to think maybe Mamed gets him down and gets it done, but Vinny is so unpredictable and so powerful. I genuinely just don't know how this fight's going to go. Especially with this new update, man. It seems like the strikers are getting a buff. And Romano. I don't believe it. Do you see what I mean? Vinny needs to just keep punching here. The Mamed treatment, though, is definitely in, in, in construction. And there it is. Vinny threw a shot, though. The Mamed treatment gets rocked, goes down. Mamed's going to chain this. Gets the arm. This is so sick, man. The uni UFC universe is still so good, man. Vinny's out. I think. Yeah, Vinny's out. Defense there from Romano, and he does have side control. If Vinny was smart here, he'd stand. Or bang shots in side control. Either one is good. Because Mamed will just get under him and drill something else. Romano was so close to ending the fight, though. Vinny postures up there, though. Okay. Interesting. This is so good, man. <clears throat> so good. Mamed there. Great grappling from Mamed. Now some shots from the Russian. Mounts him. Could be seeing an armbar attempt very shortly. Here we go. Here's a submission coming. Got the arm. Now let's see. Let's see. Because if Vinny can survive it, we're in for some madness. It looks like Mamed isn't going to be able to lock this in. Though he's creeping up, it looks like Vinny's going to get out. Yeah, he's out. He's out, 100%. Vinny again denying these uh, submissions. Seems like this update does favour strikers, I ain't going to lie. Vinny unable to get up though, but then again, Vinny is balanced as well, so his submission defense is going to be better. I can't get over that Kaigar fight, man. That was fucking mad. Big elbows here from Mamed. Vinny trying to block the elbow. Vinny's done well to survive Mamed on the ground. <clears throat> that could be about the change though, 20 seconds. I don't think Mamed's got time to lock it in. Although, nah, nah, he ain't got that. Round over. And Vinny did get a big knockdown, but Mamed, since the knockdown, just took over. Let's see what happens in round two, man. That was crazy. Here we go. Round two. Here we go. Vinny needs to keep that box into Mamed. He wants to win this fight. Sat him down. Vinny needs to be smart here. He dives in. It's Mamed's day. Oh, that's over. That's over. Okay. Oh, no. No. Vinny messed up there. But Mamed's very smart. Very smart. Got clipped bad. And look at this. Mamed will just drill the submission. This is close, but again, I think Vinny might get out. Very close. Yeah, Vinny's out, I think. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Here comes Mamed. Mamed's got it. Comeback King. Mamed does it again. Chokes out Vinny Romano. Vinny almost had him, man. 
That's crazy. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for more good old uh, UFC Universe next time. Stubson guys have a great day. See you all again in the next one.